Another doctor is receiving treatment for Ebola in the United States. As Daniel Nottingham reports, the surgeon arrived in Nebraska from the West African nation of Sierra Leone today. Dr. Martin Salia landed in Omaha Saturday afternoon, then went by ambulance to Nebraska Medical Center, where he is undergoing treatment. The 44-year-old surgeon was working at a hospital in the Ebola zone in Sierra Leone's capital of Freetown, but not with Ebola patients. He started showing symptoms last week. A medical team in Sierra Leone says Salia was critically ill when he left for the U.S. They just say we should keep calm, everything's going to be okay, and... So far, he's responding very well to treatment. Salia is a citizen of Sierra Leone who lives in Maryland with his wife and two children. His son says his father was aware of the risks going to work in West Africa. The fact that he left here and go back to his country, that made me worried a little bit, especially when he's a doctor and he, he treats patients. That's the part that is scary because you don't know who has the virus. Salia explained during an April interview why he returned to help his countrymen. I took this job not because I want to, but I firmly believe that it was a calling and that God wanted me to. Nebraska Medical Center is one of four U.S. hospitals with special units to treat people with highly infectious diseases. Salia is the third Ebola patient to undergo treatment there. Eight of the nine Ebola patients treated so far in the U.S. have survived. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles. The State Department says Salia's wife requested his evacuation to the United States. She has agreed to reimburse the government for any expenses associated with bringing her husband back for treatment. Sierra Leone is one of the three West African nations hit hard by the Ebola epidemic this year.